proposal? All right, that is my understanding. That, that's my, that's my, right. yeah. So I think uh, this was one, this section of um, plans that we're looking at, I think it's especially worth noting communities that opted not to submit a section nine proposal and communities that did submit robust ones. I think that's just another factor to consider in our discussion. Yeah, the, the plan shows they did. Um, well, I think it's for the agency. I'm not sure oh, if that, that right. somebody came before the board, but but, it, but again, to Stacy's yep. point, they didn't submit a proposal. Yep. Um, so they didn't offer an alternative. Well, that makes discussion of their alternative sort of. <laughs> <laughs> Any other comments on Cambridge non report? Okay, let's skip right along. I'm making record time here. To Huntington, page 74. I'll, I'll keep going with these observations. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, I'll go, I'll keep commenting. Okay. Uh, Huntington, sure. who came and spoke to us at length and has given, we've received a lot of public comment from Huntington, but also did not submit a Section 9 proposal, correct? But this was an, another little interesting twist. They didn't submit a proposal. What they did do was instead of submitting a proposal, they, I, I believe they went, I, they had a number of votes, and I think that's true. They, they put it up for a vote again instead of doing the proposal. I, I need to go back and double check that, but Dan, do you know? Yeah, I, th I think that's correct. Yeah. So, but but nonetheless, they're, you know, they were not looking at, a, at an alternative. They put it up for a vote. Has that vote taken place? I think it was in March, if I recall. If okay. I, I might be mixing up with another one, but I can go back and vote. Can I ask you just a quick question? Is it our goal to take a vote on the, the so-called polka dots, the five polka dots, like as a group, and then move on to something else? Yes. Or, okay. Wait, as a group? No. We're going to well, do each one, are, just like we've done on the other ones. You can put, do those after you get done with the five, do those, not wait for the whole list of the, whatever it is, 10, yeah. 12, 15 of them? Uh, there's five of them that we're going to be looking at in this yeah. section. Oh. We're not handling all of K together. We're handling, the, right. the, as I call them, the polka dots Yeah. Right. together. Barnard, yeah. Cambridge, okay. Huntington, Orwell. Okay. Oh, well. Anything more too? on Was Huntington? That, in there? No. no proposal, yeah, no. but plenty of Huntington input. Huntington Cambridge. <laughs> okay, Orwell. Orwell's an interesting one because um, I'm a, they did not submit a formal alternative governance proposal. And um, my recollection from reading minutes, and I've read so many minutes now, my head's spinning, but my recollection is that a majority of the school board su actually supports merger. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Or did. They did. Yeah, they did. It has since changed. Orwell? Yeah, the current school board members have not oh, okay. reached consensus. Well, not reached no, consensus, the, but the... The former school board did vote to approve a merger proposal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think what happened was in December, when I looked at their minutes in December, I don't quote, I have to go back and double check, but I'm pretty sure their minutes in December when they were contemplating a response, they stood behind the, the original merger. I have to look at their minutes. But nonetheless, they did not submit a, they, uh, an alternative. So it's okay. sort of a moot point. Anything else on Orwell? Okay, that takes us to Wendell. Yeah, when, when, yeah, when, yeah they, when did it submit? Uh, it's interesting. It's a tight vote. Hmm? It's a tight vote. Yeah, it got tighter. Yeah. So Wyndham's an interesting case because, it, and again, if you go back and study the minutes, um, they created a a commit a, se a separate committee um, that worked on this. But what's confusing is you go to the minutes of their meeting. 
their meetings. And I, I, uh, there was a committee established, uh, but there wasn't a formal appointment process. So it's not really clear who's actually on the committee. There's no record of that. Um, and then on their website, there's no record of, of any meeting minutes of the committee at all. And when the board met, they, um, th th there's, there's no formal record of this actually being approved by the board. Now, the board members have come, so I think, you know, there's a you know, clear argument to say that they support it. But, but this goes to this, you know, I think a, a broader issue around transparency um, and how this, how this process played out because it's a little, the process is a little murky. The other, the other thing that was interesting is that I believe this is the one that we heard a lot about, the transportation network. Right. Yet it's the same transportation network that brings students to the high school. Right. And, it, and, and I did a little research, and there doesn't seem to be any plan to address the road. The road seems to get blamed for a lot of things, but there doesn't seem to be any plan to actually do anything about it. The, the, the other, yeah. But it seems good enough for high school kids, but not for the... The well, elementary school kids. Well, and that was all framed, I think, under a fear of, of the school closing. And what's interesting is if you go and look at the articles of agreement for the for the for the district, the larger district that they're part of, the articles are actually um, Secretary French can probably keep me honest here, but I think they were amongst the most the most stringent <coughs> in the state around school closures. Mm -hmm. So it actually the, the the articles of agreement that they would be going into actually require a vote of, of the electorate in a town uh, that you're closing that, that you that there's a proposal to close a school and so it's, it's a pretty ironclad um, mm -hmm. promise built into those articles of agreement yet we kept hearing this this fear about school closure which was um, sort of interesting uh, this is another they indebtedness was specifically raised in in their proposal um, and what was confusing to me, confusing is perhaps a charitable um, choice of words, is that they asserted um, that there was disparity in debt between their elementary school district and the Union High School district that they're actually a part of. And when I questioned them about this back in Beth Bethel, didn't get a really clear answer and had to follow up, I think, a couple of times to get a clear answer and an acknowledgement that they actually voted for and own their share of that debt. So, and, and when you look at Brad's information, I think it's pretty, um, pretty clear what the what the situation is there. Well, you look at the window. You know, just the overall change. We're tracking here is 2.02 for Wyndham, and for Brookline, it's 2.8. So is it, you know, neither of those numbers is, is a really big number. It's certainly below inflation, but it wasn't even the largest number in, in the study that we looked at. No. Okay, yeah. further discussion? Okay, are we ready to start voting on this group of five? What's your pleasure as regards Barnard? Mm -hmm. I could be ready to vote, but I just, I, I appreciate Secretary French's point about the NMEDs do all have something in common. There is a functioning uh, larger structure with one piece of the puzzle missing. Mm -hmm. I do think these examples all feel very different, and I just, I would like just to, I just like to recognize that that's complicated. They're all under one umbrella, but I think they present very different scenarios, mm -hmm. um, and I, I have a hard time coming up with one rationale that, that works for all of them. Which means you may be looking at different ones in different lives. Right, which means I will do that, yes. <laughs> so you're saying, you know, one is debt and transportation, one is representation, one I'm not, Cambridge I'm not sure about. One is opportunity for students. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, opportunity yeah. for students, the pre-K program, yeah. I, mean, yeah, so I, it I is. think the efforts towards equity would mm -hmm. be a, a big, is a big piece that I, and there are equity issues that can be addressed through a larger, more flexible, um, more nimble organization. So I think there's, you know, it's not that equity only comes with or without uh, merger, but. Cambridge we don't know really, though, right? Sorry? Cambridge we don't know, we're not. Are we enlightened on Cambridge's? Um, Same one, what do you think? 
if we had to like sum it up in like. Well, they're one that didn't submit a 